breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Mazi Unamdikanu sends message to international community over hearing of his appeal. Mazi Unamdikanu sends message to international community over hearing of his appeal. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as a read to this news. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unam Dikanu, has asked the international community to persuade the Nigerian judiciary to fix a date for the hearing of his appeal at the Supreme Court. Newsbreak.ng reports that Kano's entreaty was echoed by Barista Ifiayi a GO4, the prescribed group's lead counsel. A GO4 said the Nigerian authorities have been defeated in their own court. Biafra seeking Kano was accused of various offenses, including treasonable felony and terrorism, offenses he allegedly committed in the diaspora. The IPOB leader's legal team on Monday visited Kano at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS Abuja, where he is being detained. Oyendu Kanu encourages everyone, most particularly foreign governments and institutions, to prevail on the judiciary to assign a date for the hearing of his appeal. Oyendu did not rule out plausible pressure from those who have been decimated in their own court. But he is insisting that justice must be done and seem to be done in his cases. Kano cited the instance where the court was expeditious in granting an order staying the execution of his judgment given by the same court, but made a vote face when it comes to giving equal speedy attention to assignments of date in hearing of our appeal at the apex court, a GFO statement partly reads. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unamdi Kanu has asked the international community to persuade the Nigerian judiciary to fix a date for the hearing of his, of his appeal at the Supreme Court. Newsbreak.ng report that Kano's entreaty was echoed by Barista Ifiya in a GO4, the proscribed group's lead counsel. A GO4 said the Nigerian authorities have been defeated in their own court. Biafra seeking Khan was accused of various offenses, including treasonable felony and terrorism, offenses he allegedly committed in the diaspora. The IPOB leader's legal team on Monday visited Kano at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, Abuja, where he is being detained. Oyendu Kano encourages everyone, most particularly foreign government and institutions, to prevail on the judiciary to assign a date for the hearing of his appeal. Oyedu did not rule out plausible pressure from those who have been decimated in their own court, but he is insisting that justice 
must be done and seen to be done in his case. Kanu cited the instance where the court was expeditious in granting an order staying the execution of his judgment given by the same court, but made a vote of face when it comes to giving equal speedy attention to assignment of dates in hearing of our appeal at the apex court, a GO4 statement partly reads. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipop, Unam Dikanu has asked the international community to persuade the Nigerian judiciary to fix a date for the hearing of his appeal at the Supreme Court. Newsbreak.ng report that Kanu's entreaty was echoed by Barista Ifia in a GO4, the proscribed group's lead counsel. A GO4 said the Nigerian authorities have been defeated in their own court. Biafra Osikin Kanu was accused of various offenses including treasonable felony and terrorism, offenses he allegedly committed in the diaspora. The IPOB leader's legal team on Monday visited Kanu at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, Abuja, where he has been detained. Oyendu Kanu encourages everyone most particularly foreign government and institutions to prevail on the judiciary to assign a date for the hearing of this appeal. Oyedu did not rule out plausible pressure from those who have been decimated in their own court, but he is insisting that justice must be done and seen to be done in his case. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.